Gainesville. We're not in Indy, but we are at the Indy of Sand Drag Racing. This is Jeff Pio's Palace, Gilbert, Louisiana. One of the biggest sand drag races of the year. I wanted to go live. I wanted to share this with you guys. This is crazy. I give them a lot of credit. There's 200 entries here. And I said, can you ever get away with four, five, six, seven, eight runs? They said, no, the track gets dangerous at that point. These vehicles are too on the edge, they're too fast, and they can't deal with big ruts that could throw them offline or out of place. Let's take a look in the lanes and see what we got coming up. Again, we're in Gilbert, Louisiana. Check in the comments. Let me know where you're watching from. Riders of all different ages from all over the world. Puerto Rico represented, Carolinas represented, Virginia represented, Northwest represented. They're all in the lanes. This is their opportunity tonight. No way for this track to be prepped and we will get into another run. Here's the bikes that I want to show you. This is why you don't want to leave this live stream. Shout out Dallas, shout out Virginia. And you want to make sure you share this with a friend because look at what is coming up. We will see this before we end this live stream. How about a four cylinder, two stroke snowmobile engine coming up. And I think the Turbo Hayabusa may run as well. This reminds me of when I went to the hill climb races that you never know what you're going to see. Two strokes, four strokes, nitrous, different power adders, turbo, lots of creativity. Lots of female riders too, like I said, they're tough. We see that in drag racing all the time and pavement drag racing, but here in the sand drags, that trend is carrying over. Just like we see out there in the pavement, air pressure adjustments, 
adjustments being made to these four wheelers, two wheelers. Good win out there. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Jackie takes the win. Wheelie bars as well. There's class for no bars. There's class four bars. And here's what's interesting too. You may take a look at this young lady. You might be like, she's not racing. She doesn't have her leathers on. You don't need leathers unless you run in the twos. So good luck. What is your name again, young lady? Destiny Manley. Destiny, where are you from? Uh, Mississippi. Mississippi. How old are you? Uh, 24. You're awesome. How'd you get involved in this? My dad right there, he started racing when I was real young and he just picked up his sport. Raised them right. All right. Well, what class are you running this weekend? Uh, this is 360 index, but I'll be in 425, 525, and 650. How much fun is this? It's I'm feeling like no other. Feeling like no other. Good luck to you. She, she's yeah. coming up in just a little bit. Oh, I drive yeah. race cars too, so I got to... What do you got? I have a Turbo G8. Oh, you got all kind of toys. Yeah, I have a $5,000 Grudge Race locked in Sunday when I get home. Where at? Uh, Holly Springs, Mississippi. Oh my goodness, you do it all. What's more fun, pavement or in the sand? The dirt. Really? The dirt. Why would you say so? Uh, it's more hands-on, the crowd, the, the people. Grudge racing and all that, you know, it comes with all the arguing and everything. It's like a big family. I, I, it's definitely a family atmosphere around here. It's like a big cookout. It's a big campground. It's like a family reunion you actually want to go to. Ah, I like that. I like that. Well, good luck to you. Good Thank luck. You. And when are we going to see you on one of these things? Hey, uh, tomorrow. You're, oh, yeah. tomorrow. Okay. Some point. <laughs> that is cool, man. Good group of people out here as we're going to prep. Who wants to see some more? Who wants to see some more action? This is the Cajun Nationals, Gilbert, Louisiana, about two hours from Shreveport. This is one of the most beautiful tracks I've ever seen. I've been to a lot of different events. I've seen sand drags on TV. I've seen dirt drags on TV and on YouTube and on digital, but I've never seen one in person so far. I am thoroughly impressed. And again, the promoter in me is just, I got to commend the resolve because like I said, we get six, seven hundred motorcycles at a racetrack and we talk about, oh my God, we got to get it in and how pressed we are for time. Imagine this, Mark Garen. Imagine if we had the prep every four runs on the asphalt. So we're about ready to go once again. It's neat though, it gives you a little break. It gives you a little break to hype up what's coming up next. This is eliminations. This Motorcycles, quads, ATVs, they all qualified today. We even had a top fuel bike here of Jeff Geo. He's the owner of this racetrack. He loves this sport. He's a farmer. I saw him moments ago. He's up here on the line somewhere. And he lives for this. There we go. Have some fun with this. And smash right. Who has not hit right yet? Who has hit right? Over 100 right.
that takes the win. 384. Dad, I gotta ask you about something real quick. I can see you were telling her, just like a motocross bike, you really gotta keep the R's up on those things to keep them cleaned out, huh? Yeah, we're trying to keep it cleaned out. Well, tough break, but I know you guys will be back. Good job, right. man, good job. Cycle Drag YouTube. What are your names? I'm Leroy. This is Morgan. Anybody you want to shout out? <laughs> there Hi, you dad. go. Hi, Dad. Hi, Dad. Hi, Dad. Hi, Dad. Hi, Dad. There you go. side doesn't leave the starting line what happened we are seeing some breakage out here unfortunately guys they're pushing these machines to the limits somebody's swing arm bolt came out moments ago let's see what happened to this this fine machine tough one that is part of it out here though for sure what happened bud car came off what came off carburetor oh sorry to hear the carburetor came off it's not gonna run when that big electron carburetor comes off that machine. Tough break for him. Looks like they're gonna prep. Here's the return road right here. Fired up victorious racers coming back. We still got the turbo bikes coming. Hey, make sure you smash like. We are 50 likes away from 100 and there's over 100 people watching. So we should be able to do that easily. If you like cycle drag, traveling all the way to Gilbert, Louisiana for you, smash like. Really, if you if you really like it, hit the super chat. Make sure you subscribe too. As you notice, Troy Greetings, what are we at? 527,000 subscribers. The goal here is a million someday. We want to do it. And I appreciate everybody watching and sharing the content. Let's see who's coming up next. Looks like one of the teams out of Puerto Rico.
away. Here comes the track prep once again. Guys, 88 miles an hour and 100 yards is pretty stout. I'm sure that gets your attention. Here comes the track prep once again. This is the aforementioned Tilly and Wesley that I talked about. We'll go on tonight. We're not going to go anywhere just yet. Let me know in the comments. Are you guys loving this? A little something different? I try to mix it up on this channel. You know, we see plenty of top fuel motorcycles. We see plenty of pro street. We see plenty of drag racing action from all over. Harley baggers. But you know, I throw in some two strokes. I throw in some old cra crazy stuff. Make it fit. Look at, hey guys, look in the comments. Speaking of legends, that's a legend right there. His real name is Steve Rice. Funny bike legend, and he just sent me ten dollars on Make It Fit. You are too kind. So, Steve, I have a question for you, Steve. Have you ever raced in the sand or in the dirt? And I have to keep catching myself to say sand because we're not anywhere near the beach. We're not on the West Coast. But let me explain this to you guys. This is the clay of Louisiana. But Jeff Gio loves this place so much that he imported a bunch of sand. He brought in a ton of it to create this absolute picture perfect surface. And I believe this young lady might be watching Cycle Drag YouTube right now. Cycle Drag YouTube is where you're at. Anybody want to shout out? Hola. I'm I'm Paquito. I'm learning. I'm learning on Paquito. Hola, hola, hola. How you doing? Oh, there we go. There we go. Where's this crew from over here? Uh, well, I'm from uh, Puerto Rico, Texas. Okay. How about your they're friends? Where are they from? Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. You let them know they're live on Cycle Drag YouTube right, right now. Enjoy. You guys having a good time? Yes, sir. That's what it's all about. So, make it fit. Steve Rice says, I tried I tried to climb Widowmaker. I tried to climb Widowmaker on my 1976 BMW street bike. Explain to me what Widowmaker is, Mr. Mr. Steve Rice, legend, sir. Thank you very much. We are 13 likes away from 100. If you have not yet liked this video, stay with us, guys, because look at what's coming up next. Some amazing, but I believe this is the final qualifier coming up in one of the faster categories, just like what we see in motorcycle drag racing, all types of different classes, index classes. I like the Pittsburgh Pirates hat, very cool. That gets off of my foot and then it doesn't return. And we'll see what we got coming up next. Make It Fit says it was the unclimbable hill in Utah. Well, Steve, we're going to have to sit down and talk about that. That would be awesome. Of course, when you said Widowmaker, you know what I think of right away. So that's why I had to take a double take. Let's go congratulate Jackie, by the way. Let's send Jackie some love, some hearts and stars. 40-hour drive, ladies and gentlemen. 40-hour drive. I, I'm so proud of you. Good job. Took me a long time. And look at it, and she's giving out hugs. Hey, he's just he's picking on he's picking on young girls. I want to say congratulations. Nice win. Forty hour. That's making that forty hour drive pay off. All right, now is it Lacey's turn to turn on a win light? Yep. Yes. Uh, now, Lacey, when your teammate wins, does that pump you up? Does that give you more pressure? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Definitely. Pumps you up. Definitely. Very cool. Yes. Now, if, if Lacey and Jackie would both win this thing tonight, what would be the celebratory, perhaps, beverage or... A wet clam. <laughs> yeah. A wet what, clam. A wet clam. What exactly is a wet clam? A white clam? claw. A white claw. Sorry. A oh, white probably, claw. Probably won't be down. Probably all the moonshine sitting back in my trailer right now. <laughs> no. Hey, listen. It'll be a white claw because you got to stay on that jockey diet. Don't drink. It makes yeah. you fat. White claw. Yeah. celebrate tonight and we got Steve Rice watching from California Steve these ladies are from the Pacific Northwest this reminds me so much of the, the old days of motorcycle drag racing when everybody used to travel in to Gainesville or even Valdosta most recently for the big man cup finals used to be the AMA Pro Star finals this is their big event that's why people are here from all over just like in motorcycle drag racing, external starter to save weight. Jackie will fire Lacey up. And they'll try to turn on the wind light if they can. Lacey's ready. We'll get 
a look at Lacey's quad real quick. High performance four stroke. I said we've seen a lot of two strokes here, but there's also a lot of tough four strokes. A lot of diversity. Thank you. Show them some love in the We're comments, both still guys. In, baby. We're both still in. They're both still in, and they love it. That's, oh, is that a great feeling or what? Drag racers know that feeling well.
six. Big congrats, Dad. Boy, she's on one tonight, huh? Congratulations. Trying to back a 342 up. Woo, they're trying to back up a 342. And here comes the track prep crew. That means we got a few more minutes. Let me know in the comments, what are your thoughts on this? Are you guys loving this wild sand drag racing action? We're over 100 likes, 107. Thank you so much. Give this a share. Hit up that super chat sticker. That super thanks if you can. Brand new feature where you can highlight your comment. And we got some more <laughs> impressive machines to see. I think the fast ones are getting ready to run here real soon. I say fast ones. They're all fast. But here's the man. We got to shout out the man that makes it happen. Jeff Dio right here. That's the man. Well, Jeff, I got to compliment you. We got a new audience here. We're on Cycle Drag YouTube, and I'm just telling them about, I'm basically calling this the indie of sand drag racing. You have built a palace here, and I've told everybody about how you brought all this sand in. Tell me about some of the work that, that you've put in to make this great facility. Well, it's, uh, so we, I farm and do dirt excavation, so I work with dirt every day, and and uh, going to different tracks across the country, just kind of getting stuff, trying to find stuff that works, and we just try to get a decent mixture. And so we, we've got a we've got a sandy loam dirt, got a little clay mixed in it, and then we took some white sand and mixed in with tilled it up with a tiller, and uh, this is what we come up with. It's beautiful. And as I was telling you on Facebook, I'm walking around. People are from all over, all over the country, Puerto Rico. They're talking about just how amazing this facility is. They said uh, the fact that they can camp here and you can bring them fresh water and there's all these amenities. Everybody just really seems to be enjoying this. Everybody's really positive on this. How fulfilling is that for you? Because I know this is what you wanted to build. This is like your field of dreams. Yeah. Well, the way I feel, if uh, if everybody walks away, if I can make 99% of people happy, I'm, I'm happy. That's awesome. And not only that, let's not forget, you are the rider of that bad to the bone top fuel trike back there. We saw pass number one, that's on Cycle Track Facebook. What can we expect tomorrow? I know you said you were having a problem with a little bit of a leak there. Yeah, we have a little, uh, a little problem with our clutch cannon. So with the hit of the throttle, we just went to straight lock up. Uh, I may have to call Steve and Larry in the morning and may do a little bit of work tomorrow, hopefully. Well and, done. Uh, and, and we may can recharge the clutch and everything work out fine. So. I can tell you this, the hotline's open. Just tell them to put it on the cycle drag tab, okay? Because <laughs> they call Bill Miller enough when we're at the racetrack. You can call them and bug them tomorrow on Newport News. So That's right. Thank you for having me. We appreciate it, guys. Thanks, and do Jeff. make sure you, you tell Jeff thank you. This is his great facility. Steve Rice, uh, what I'd like to do for you and my other fuel fans Wild Thing 2 is still out. I want to go give you a look at it, and it is still out. So let's take a look at it, guys, while we get a break in the action. This is Jeff's machine. I talked about how we have turbo, nitrous, big displacement. Well, Jeff decides he's just going to one-up everybody, and he's going to go to a top fuel motor built by Larry Spider-Man McBride. In fact, it's the same engine that Jimmy the Hulk Brantley ran many years ago. Take a look at this thing. This is the wild thing. If all goes well, this will run in the 270s. Jeff, unfortunately, had a scary incident he was telling me about about five years ago where it went off the track into the woods. He couldn't shut it down. The brakes were pretty futile. And because of that, he sustained many broken bones and a badly mangled wrist. Doctors told him they'd never be able to twist the throttle again. He has proven them wrong. Leonard says, love the show. Thank you very much, guys. Hopefully you'll get to go to TV someday. Well, Leonard, I'm gonna counter with this. I've been on I've been on TV. Thank you for the compliment, but TV seems to be dying. I think Cycle Drag YouTube, I think you guys got it figured out right here, right now. That video of the speaking to Spider-Man, that was uh, 800,000 views from Charlotte that we did. That's awesome. See, that many views. Make It Fit wants to know what about fire and ice? Yes, that was purchased by a gentleman, Todd Leatherman. I think he's out of Virginia. Uh, he is not here this weekend, though. But I would definitely like to see that one, Steve. What do you think, Steve? Would you ever like to build a sand drag bike? You and John Morgan get together and build something crazy? John Roberts says he'd love to watch the cycle drag. This thing is a monster. Absolute monster. What's cool too is um, they only have one engine and they don't usually hurt it. 
Remember when Larry, a couple years ago, when he was having a problem with the exhaust valves, they were having to change bullets just about every single pass. Uh, I think optimally, Larry would know better than me. I think he tells him, you know, the bike makes peak power around 10,500 RPMs. This one, they only run it to about 8,000 RPM. So not turned up quite as high, not quite as hard on parts, and they're only running at 300 feet. That makes a big, big difference. They run 1,300 and 20 feet and a quarter mile. Really? Whipple says minus the, I missed that comment, Whipple. Well, Whipple, I'll address that too about the, the Bud, the, remember that Bud Light video that we had from Sturgis went viral. A bunch of news stations picked it up. Anything like that that gets people talking, that's viral, that potentially brings more eyeballs to what we do here in motorsports, I'm all for. So I love it. Whipple Creek, yeah. Other than that, I'm not going to give my opinion too much on that debate because um, Budweiser screwed that one up far, far enough. But here's what I will say. I will give you my two cents on this. I think it's starting to blow over because I'm seeing a lot of people still drink Budweiser. Do know a few people that walked away from Budweiser though, so we'll see uh, the P&L sheet, the quarterly results will determine Budweiser's fate and the stock price there. Nice job out there. Why don't you take me through that last run if you could? Um, I bogged off the line. I know. We tried to pick it back up. We slapped the clutch trying to pick it back up, but we just couldn't recover it. You were doing a good job. I was talking to your dad. He came over and he was giving you one of these, and it sounded like you had it cleaned out, but it just bogged. What do you think? RPM's too low? Or no, low? we need to make some adjustments. Oh, uh, okay. Well, we'll good. get it tomorrow. That's what it's all about. Day two tomorrow. Good job. Who do we have up here? Uh, we have Lala, my niece. That's your niece. Very cool. His little girl. Very cool. Very, very cool. Hi, Lila. How you doing? I got, so, I got something for you. Hold on, let's see. You, you want a present? You're a sticker? Get your hand out of there. There you go. Got it? That's for you. You rock. Someday we'll play this back when you're about 20 years old. Probably probably by then we'll be on, on our own drag yeah. quad. She'll have her own as <laughs> soon as she's old enough. <laughs> Very cool, good to see. You reach the handlebars. <laughs> That's what it's all about, guys. Family atmosphere out here. I'm seeing all different walks of life, people from all over. And just like at the motorcycle drag races, out here in the dirt tracks, maybe the rest of the world should be taking notes. Nobody's fighting, everybody's getting along. One big happy family. It's the love of motorsports keeps us all in a great variety. Family matters. 141 people watching, hit like. Here's a question I have for you, Cycle Drag, too, as we get back. Trick or treat, that's right, Halloween coming up. What would you like to see us cover? Any suggestions on any events that we haven't covered that you would like to see us at? Please let me know. And this crew over here, we talked to them earlier on Facebook. They're staying. Are you guys getting tired yet? Not sleepy at all? Wide awake? He's hiding back there. He might be taking There he is. I thought he was taking a nap. All right. He does wear his full leathers, by the way, because his is very fast. If you run the two-second zone, you do need leathers. Otherwise, it's a little bit odd to see people run in a t-shirt. Lebanon Valley has a night of fire. Make it fit. Reno Air Races. What is that, Steve? And Steve, while we got you on here, when's the next time we're going to see you and that awesome Kawasaki funny bike out at Western Pro Extreme? I would love to see you. It's been too long. I know Steve, like me, is super bummed that Fontana closed. I really, uh, I say a little prayer for drag racing in California, Steve. I'm hoping to keep the tracks going. Michael says, Biketoberfest, Daytona Beach. Well, Michael, I'll be there on Saturday. How about that? I got your back. We'll go from Louisiana to Daytona if all goes well. Can't guarantee anything because it all depends on airplanes and schedules and if the good Lord lets me make it till Saturday. But that is the plan right now. Thank you very much. Charles says, great show. I appreciate you guys watching. We did this on Facebook as well. We have hours of content on there. A bunch of YouTube shorts that we pumped up. But I wanna highlight some of the different power plants. The Banshee engine is, I would say, the most common. But we're seeing all different types of power plants out here. What's your favorite engine out here, sir? 
best thing for you to do is talk to my son. Talk to your son? Well, I know your son's a grudge racing legend, but I, I got to put you on the spot. What do you like? What, what's your favorite power plant? You're going to bring out the ZX-14? My, son, my son's brain. Where's he at? Right there. There he is. There he is. How you doing, sir? Yeah. I, now, I understand we know you from the grudge racing yep. scene, huh? How would you compare this form of racing to the asphalt grudge racing? It really ain't. This is more like pro street style stuff. Okay. They get showing time and records and stuff like that. What do you enjoy more? I like the grudge racing. You like the grudge race, huh? I'm sure it's pretty wild. I like this one one time a year. Okay. Very cool. And look, is it? I think it's dinner time over here. I like the way it's well. <laughs> oh, they're giving you a hard time. Man, the man with the West Virginia hoodie. We, we, we should have known. With the WVU hoodie, he's gonna have something to say to you. Well, how about it? You having a good time out here? I love it. That's what it's all about. I, nobody seems to be getting tired either. We're, we're, they said they're gonna run all the way up until midnight. Well, what wait. do you think about it? I think it's awesome. I really enjoy it. The thing that blows my mind as an asphalt drag racer, I cannot believe they gotta prep every four pairs. That is so much work. That is so much dedication. But it's what you got to do. But I mean, it's impressive to me that um, if you didn't have to do that, obviously you'd be able to get these events in a lot quicker. But that's an essential part of it. Tomorrow will get a lot faster. Oh, really? Okay. This is, this is a little bit different. Tomorrow and Saturday will be a little more interesting. Ooh, very right. cool. The thing is, you got everybody's coming out here trying to set these world records. So they all need to have that same smooth track. Yes. You know, hey, after you run three or four bikes across it, there's no smooth surface smooth. anymore. It's time for a new one to give everybody equal opportunity. I understand. Very well said. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. And let's get a taste. Let's get a taste of Gilbert, Louisiana. Let's find out. Let's find out what's for dinner. Oh, man. That was like cold a pork sandwich. Cold pork. What is that coleslaw? Potato salad? Salad. Macaroni salad. Man, that's the way to do it. Hungry? <laughs> you are making all of us hungry out in YouTube land. Well, you know, they've sent me here to babysit the bike, you know. There you go. Enjoy. What do you think? John Roberts says yummy. He wants some. <laughs> Tell me get here. He says get here. That's I why got you plenty. <laughs> That's why you got to get here. You know when you come to the racetrack, you're going to eat well with all these barbecue pits going. We're just moments away from the next pair, guys. I want to stay live for you. But again, let me know where you're watching from. If you have not already, let me know your impression of this form of racing. Here's where they put the results. John Roberts says, here I come. Cycle drag racks. Are you guys having a good time? Yeah. There we go. Is it happy hour? Yes, it is. Excellent. Cheers. There we go. Cheers. She says no for her. She's still on the clock, unfortunately. I'm still Hard working young lady. And thank you for helping Jeff suit up. Yes. That was great. You were zipping them from all different sides. Yeah. Somebody's got to do that, right? Yes, yes, yes. Thank you very much. We do appreciate it, guys. Yeah. We appreciate it. Here's the big... Here's where all the results are posted right here. HDRA at The Rock. We may be there as well. Sierra Vista, Arizona in the house. We're doing some extensive track prep, too. What I think that means is the really fast machines are coming up. Anytime they, they till it twice, that's when you usually know the super fast machines are coming up. Yeah, Troy, something different. Here's the biggest question. Is there anybody watching this broadcast who has not yet subscribed? If you're not yet subscribed, if it doesn't say subscribe, hit subscribe. A lot has happened since the last time we went live, guys. I can't even remember our last live, but I've just been continuing to post videos, and we hit 500,000 subscribers, so thank you. Thank you for being a friend, telling a friend. I know you guys are sharing this. I know you're bringing more people to this community, and, and I really, really appreciate it. I can't believe we're already 27,000 past 500. The goal is a million. That's going to be a big deal for me. How long will it take us to get there? I don't know, but I'm not going to stop until we hit. 1 million subscribers. That is the goal. Thank you, Johnny. Loves his channel. Cursor Media. 
Says hi all. And we've got the next round just about ready to go. Massive disc to flatten the track. That's right, Robert. That's what they're doing. But I see the equipment coming off. That's a good sign. And there is Jeff. Jeff's such an interesting guy, too. A farmer, an excavator, and he has that top fuel trike. He said he has it, hasn't had a chance to get it out and test all year. He's so busy working. You, you got to make money to have toys like this, and that's what he's doing. You can tell he's a man that loves what he does, too. Stays busy all the time and built this amazing facility that is rocking. John Roberts from Wyoming. Shane says, let's get it. Let's see some racing. I agree. I agree as we've got some fast quads coming up here just a little bit. Look at all the parking area back here, the staging area. They tell me year after year, Jeff continues to make improvements to this racetrack. I re this is the one that I really want to see run. How far away are we from your class, gentlemen? Do we know? I'm not sure. Probably, probably about four more passes get these bikes through then we'll be about there and we'll be about there okay yeah. I know we got a lot of two-stroke fans who follow this channel John how are you sending those little emojis that's cool you know if what make it fit did though is he sent that that brand new super chat super thanks and we thank him that's cool if you guys want to play around with one of those that is always much appreciated Everybody in the lanes getting ready to run. Let's go check out another one of these pit areas as we get ready for the next round. Just coming up quickly. This is kind of like the pro pit midway, the fastest bike. There's another machine over here that I want to show you that it is pretty wild. Actually, two, two of them over here that you've got to see. Extremist, Orange 450. Team Bennett has brought some amazing sand drag vehicles check this guy out is this thing exotic or what yeah very similar to the snowmobile engine that glenn hall runs john says i don't have a credit card i don't even know how that works john make it fit will have to tell us how that works because he's He's done it. He's awesome. Steve, if you could give instructions to these guys, that would be great. I don't even know how to do it. I do know that I talked to a, uh, somebody from YouTube, had a consultation, so shout out to them, a very helpful lady, and she said, hey, tell people to try out these new stickers we're rolling out. They get to highlight their comment. They can do all kind of cool stuff. Has to be done with a card, Whipple Creek says. Okay. Ricky Thorpe, two-wheeler, say hello. Let's go take a look at this Turbo Hayab Hayabusa again. You know, on this channel, like I said, we've shown you literally <laughs> thousands and thousands of Turbo Hayabusas, but you've never seen one quite like this with a B&J transmission. Let's see if we can see it here. Look at this machine. This one roosted me the most out of anybody today, even more than, than Jeff Gillow's top fuel bike. I got a little too close to this one. I don't want to give you guys too much information, but I think I, I have sand in my underwear because of this one. I took a sand bath. It put up a wall. And Kersher Media coming in. Bam, Kersher Media, now our number one qualifier, 1999. Thank you, Kersher Media. Whoa, I don't know how you did that, Kersher Media, but you're a bad hombre. Cursor Media looks to be number one. I don't know if anybody will step up and challenge Cursor Media to knock them off the number one qualifying position of Super Chat, Super Stickers. You, you, I'll tell you, I might, I might be able to afford to go get a hotel now. I might not have to sleep on the ground. Thank you very, very much. It was nice at Cursor Media. Cursor Media, make it fit. Everybody who contributed, guys, those are much appreciated. How did you do that, Cursor Media? Yeah, how did you do that? Let us know. How much boost is in this? Well. 
Hopefully we can talk to this team. They're waiting patiently to come up for the next round. But just kind of hanging out. I don't know how Jeff Gio's team does it between all the work that he has to do here to run this event. Here's a closer look at some of the sportsman quads as well. Twin cylinder, two stroke Banshee. A lot of them with electron carburetors. This one looks like stock carburetors. This one with the Hoosier paddle tires. Where's Eric from MTC? A lot of drag racing components over here too. I've seen MPS. I've seen Voodoo racing components. I've seen MTC. Justin Barnes checks in. He says, what's up, Cycle Drag? Thank you so much. Guys, if you have not yet smashed like on this video, please do that. We really, really appreciate it. This one with the Max ECU. Another very popular product in motorcycle drag racing when it comes to data acquisition. John's gonna get a hold of Elon Musk for us, he says. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. So I wanna know, how many people watching would twist the throttle, would go full throttle on one of these for 100 yards? Who thinks that that would be a ton of fun? Weather's weird here too. All of a sudden, guys, I was freezing cold a second ago. I, I might be taking off the jacket here a second. It seems to be seems to be fluctuating in Louisiana. I was amazed at how hot it was. I thought it was gonna be chilly up up north. I was in Pennsylvania the last couple of weeks. It got really, really cold. I knew it wasn't gonna be that cold here, but it's warmer than Florida down here, it seems like. All the women out here riding. All the women out here riding, huh? It, do you ride as well? Yeah. I went, when are you coming up? I only got to see you in action with all your administrative duties. Uh, yes, a lot of administrative duties. That one will be up in the 340 index once the line gets a little closer. Oh, so you and still got another run tonight? Okay. Yes, and then I ride uh, Nick Bennett's layout. That is awesome. So that's me on So that I did one. see your pass on you Cycle did, yeah. Facebook. You did yes. a great job. Is it tough to, to stay up and keep the energy up this late at night? No. 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 You live on sugar and energy drinks. Sugar and energy drinks. And every once in a while they'll feed me. <laughs> hey, that works, huh? That yep. works. What's it like to hit top speed down there? Um, at 102 miles an hour, it's a Cadillac drive. Uh oh. It's blasting you guys. I gotta get out of here. That's gonna shut down our live stream. Yeah. Thank you very much. Do not copywritten copywritten music will shut down the live stream very, very quickly. Facebook, uh, YouTube. I do not own the rights. There we go. There, I cannot believe how extensive this track prep is. They're full prep, they're watering it. This is what I'm talking about, guys. This is what I'm talking about. This is why it takes so long to get one of these events in. Track needs a lot of tending to. Here we go, starters out. We're ready for another round of racing. Who wants me to stay live? Who wants some more racing action? Because we got a big one coming up.
win. Left side gets their problems right lane. We'll get him off the racetrack, but congratulations to this team. You think my man was wearing sunglasses today or what? He got the full imprint. Here comes the next pair. It's not us, Tony. soil there's no rocks so I would really be in trouble here left side takes the win at a I'm sorry right side takes the win right side takes the win I misspoke 344 76 miles an hour left side something went away I was distracted by the mouthful of roost that I just got it happened we'll continue on here from Gilbert Louisiana Cajun Nationals 2023 Saying hold up for a second, there may be somebody on the racetrack. Bunch of two strokes smoke. Oh, I got my earplugs, John. You better believe it. I have to, or I'll go deaf for as many races that I go to. I don't want to lose my hearing just yet. Forever for that matter. Wow, look at the amount of... Something's going on, guys, that they had to shut them off. Look at how much smoke is on the track from that last... I don't know what exactly is going on right now. They're taking a look at the timing system. This next pair is on hold. I just cannot believe the amount of smoke from that last. That is the most smoke all day. You're right, Whipple. Looks like fog's rolling in. That's not fog, though. That's two stroke smoke. So right now, here's a good example of a team member looking for a good spot. He wants a nice, hard spot. You like that right there? Yeah. You want to stay out of the fluff is what you're trying to do, huh? He wants a nice hard packed spot for dad. So as you can see, they're pushing him over a little bit. He's going to go close, close to the guardrail. Well, that's a blessing for him during this delay. He had a little bit of opportunity to really assess the racetrack and figure out the best lane, which... You don't talk about an ever-changing track. It'll change every single pass. Every time they prep it, it'll change. Good to go. Here we go, guys. Right lane or left lane? Who you got? Good luck to these teams. We should break out by a mile. This is why. Does it feel muddy when it takes off? Oh, it's nice and cold still. Did it sound muddy when you repped it all or not really?
left side, left side gets there. 399, 331 right side. They said we should break out by a mile. They did break out. Clearly, as you can tell, they're not worried about the index. They're not worried about going rounds. They want a lapse time performance, and they got it with a 331, 95 miles an hour. So technically, left lane takes the win, but everybody walks away happy from that one. We got another pair coming up. Thank you guys so much for, for watching this video. Appreciate it. 150 likes. Can we get the 200 likes? You think it's possible? 165 people watching, whether you're watching live, whether you're watching on demand. Smash like. I want to see us get over the 200 likes if we could. Tag in a friend. They are not all Banshee engines, Dixon. I can tell you that. Everything from a Hayabusa to all different types of power hours. Hey, we need 30 likes to hit 200 likes. Lumberton, North Carolina joins us. We've been there, a 710 country. Just talk to somebody. I think this young man from Lumberton, North Carolina. But do me a favor, please. If you have not yet commented where you're watching from, I want to know. And if you have not hit like, we're 29 likes away from 200. I want to see if we can do it. I think we got the fast machines coming up next. Looks like they're going to go ahead with a little more water. They haven't been watering all that often, but they just might be seeing too much dust or that excessive two-stroke smoke might have threw them off. Raptor, 1,000 cc. Very cool, man. Introduce yourself to Cycle Drag YouTube. What's your name? I'm Mason Newman. Where are you from? Virginia. I love it. Where at in Virginia? Uh, Smith Mountain Lake, oh. Roanoke. Hey, you're not that far from Spider-Man Larry McBride. Nope. You ever go to his shop? Uh, no, I haven't gotten to yet. You're going to have to stop by someday, tell him Cycle Drag sent you, get a t-shirt. He's in Newport News. Newport News. That's quite a trip for us. It About is a trip. I'll four hours. It's worth it, though. Oh, yeah. Let's see what you're dealing with over here. Let's check out your vehicle. Everybody getting ready to go for this next round. We need 20 yeah, we're, we're more be, likes to hit 200. Turn Tyler, up. Texas is here. Good luck. All right. And the power out of what type of motor? 1,000cc Raptor. That is a 1,000cc Raptor four-stroke, ladies and gentlemen. Who's your competition this round? Uh, I believe Gary Hyde. Good luck to you. Thank you, sir. He's coming up. They're getting ready. Look, they've got a fuel tech on this machine. Big shout out, fuel tech. They got the tune in it.
Everything sound to your liking? We'll see. So we'll see. We're uh, like 06 from the record, so. Woo! What's the record in this class? 343. 343. Wow. Got a couple days left. That's what you're going for. So when you're going for the record, you're not concerned about a breakout? Somebody no. just ran a 331, and that's what they said. They said, we're going to break out by a mile. So you come to an event like this, and you pay to make passes. Pay to make passes. Not necessarily about going rounds. It's about that number. To, right. Okay. To that, the weather's good, so you want to go as fast as you can. It don't matter if we run faster. We're in a 40 index, and the world's fastest Raptors are 336. So Woo! for this record, it's a 43, but... Who doesn't want that? Well, we wish you all the best, guys. Good luck. Got to believe conditions pretty good right now. Good air, low humidity. 12, 1263 DA is what I seen. Okay. Uh, hopefully it's not it. as good. The first night, I think it was down to like 600. All right, guys, when he that says DA, he's talking about density altitude, corrected altitude. Mental zone. We'll see if this guy, if these guys can do it. Whipple Creek says they're flying. Five seconds on 3:30 on asphalt. That's right. You're just joining us. This race course, 100 yards, 300 feet here in Gilbert, Louisiana. It is the Northeast Sand Drags 2023 Cajun Nationals. Cycle Drag, pleased to be here. As I, I've been telling you all day, this is the first Sand Drag race for me. I've been to. I, I kind of, you know, I've been to, uh, I did the reporting for Lucas Oil Off-Road for many times. They had surface just like this, soil just like this out in California. kind of reminds me of that, but yet it's a drag race. The vehicles kind of remind me of when I went to a hill climb and that you never know what you're going to see. You never know what type of power at or what type of power plant. Two strokes, four strokes, nitrous, turbo, all kind of cool stuff. John wants to know what time it is. That's a good question. Who knows what time it is? Not everybody all at once. I don't know, John. I don't. I mean, you'd be able to figure that out probably quicker than me right now. This young lady's got her watch on. What time zone are we in? Is the question, right? It's 9:46. 9:46. Thank you very much. And could you please introduce yourself to Cycle Drag YouTube? Because you were taking some amazing photos. Today. Oh, thank you, Shirley Lee. I'm with uh, Troy Lee, Michael Lee, TLR Racing. Your son? Yes. And where's he at? <laughs> he took off that gently somewhere. Okay, so he's coming up. Where can we see all your great photos at? Um, TLR slash racing. Okay. Are you going to be here tomorrow? Yeah, I'll be here all week. Excellent. I can't, I'm going to have to get with you because I might have to showcase some of your awesome photos on Cycle Drag. Okay. We can get approval to give you credit because that one you showed me of Jeff Gio, you got a nice one. Yeah. How long have you been taking pictures? Uh, about six years. You do asphalt drags too? No. Just the dirt drags? Yeah. Well, awesome. Good job. Thank you for being here. What do you think, young man? Somebody who's from Lumberton, North Carolina watching might be your neighbor. You're from Lumberton, right? Uh-huh. All right, so whoever whoever was from Lumberton, comment again. So what, what part of Lumberton do you live in, sir? Okay. So you're right in here. Very cool. You having a good time tonight? Excellent. He's having a good time. That's what it's all about. I got something for you, I think. Oh, man. Last one of the day. You better get this. You got to hold this baby up. You ready? There we go. You're on Cycle Drag YouTube right now. Anybody you want to shout out? Dad. Mocha. I just yeah. talked to Mocha. Mocha Moss. Very cool, man. Good to see you. What's your name? All right, guys, give Cooper a big shout. Thank you very much. We got more fast machines coming up. We are 10 likes away from 200. Who has not yet hit like? And we do appreciate it, guys. Anytime you send those stickers, anytime you send those super chats, like, like, like we got a few super chats here, 3199. We use that to go buy more stickers, give them away to the kids, give them away to racers. So I appreciate you guys enabling me to play Santa Claus. i tell you what, those are high quality stickers. They're a little bit more than you think, especially with this inflation economy. Got to... All 
right, next pair coming up. Nine likes away. Let's hit that 200 mark if we can, please, guys. Gilbert, Louisiana, track prep to perfection. Ready for four more pair. Whipple Creek says us racers stick together. That is true. Thank you very, very much. And I want to say thank you too. Here's our super chatters. Whipple Creek sending two dollars on the super chat. Make it fit. Ten dollars on the super chat and. Kesher Media, 19.99 on the Super Chat. Thank you very much. Appreciate you guys greatly. Got them up there on the screen right now. You guys are awesome. Thank you very much. That'll help replenish the sticker selection. And they say, let's fire them up. Let's see some more racing. Eight more likes to get the 200 likes. not just about going rounds, wins and losses, it's about running big numbers. Who, who's going to give us that last life to get the 200? We need 200 likes. Come on. Well, we got it. 200. You guys were. Thank you so much. We have a for trip to go for what we can get on.
Bruce wants to know how much horsepower they're running. Well, Bruce, that's going to vary depending on the category, depending on the class. That's last year winner. Well, thank you so much. We're going to be live on Cycle Drag Facebook in a little bit, but I got to go down and charge up because we have cooked this battery. As you can tell, big shout out to this crew. This is why these events take so long to get through. They're dragging the track again, tilling up the track. That's what they got to do, but it is a heck of a show, and this is the biggest event of the year. Cycle Drag will take you far and wide. Thanks for coming along for this journey. Thanks to all of my super chatters. Thank you so much. You know we appreciate each and every one of you. I want to shout them out again. The Super Chatters uh, who did it is, of course, Steve Rice, Keshner Media, and Whipple Creek. Keshner, thank you guys so much. Whipple Creek coming in there twice. You guys are great. Appreciate you. More coming. Guys, you know, if there's anything, fast motorcycles or crazy quads, we're in. If you like that video, here's another one for you. Subscribe right in the middle. From Gilbert, Louisiana, from the Cajun Nationals. We'll see you on Cycle Drag Facebook. Cycle Drag rolls on.